To get started creating your first project in After Effects, you'll need to build your graphic in a composition. A composition is a container where you can layer multiple files together to create a file known as a composite. Layers can be created from many different kinds of files. To show you what I mean, let's get started building our first composition. There are two primary ways you can create compositions in After Effects. The first way is to go to the Composition menu in the menu bar and choose New Composition. In here, you want to make sure you're in the basic settings. At the top, you can name the composition under the composition name. I'll leave mine set to Comp1. Then you want to go ahead and click on the preset pull-down, and in here you can choose whatever resolution and frame rate you would like to work at. Go ahead and choose a preset or just click out of the menu. You can also set your frame rate, how many frames are going to play back at every second, and you can set the duration of the project. I have several numbers here, and they work from left to right. We have zero hours, zero minutes, 10 seconds, and zero frames, based on a 30 frame per second frame rate. You can also set the background color in the bottom of your composition settings. I'm going to click cancel because I don't wanna use any of these settings to create a new composition. I wanna create a composition that'll match my video footage exactly. So if you click once on the video footage in the project panel, notice we can see it's already 1920 by 1080, 10 seconds long at 29.97 frames a second. To create a composition from this footage, I'll just click on the footage and drag it down to the composition button and then let go. Notice now the composition has been created and the video file has been added into the timeline. Let's add our logo into the timeline as well. Come back up to the project panel, click on the APEAK logo illustrator file and drag it down to the timeline. Notice as we get over the summer layer, if I go over top or below, I get a blue highlight showing me exactly where I'm going to place this element. Let's place it above layer one in the timeline. With the logo in the timeline, let's change when the logo appears over time. Make sure layer one is selected and then go to the right side of the timeline. The thing you wanna pay attention to as you're moving layers around in time is the location of the current time indicator, which is this blue line here on the left side. And if you come to the top of that blue line, you can click and drag, and that will allow you to reposition the current time indicator. So right now, as I'm dragging, I'm going through a process called scrubbing. So move your current time indicator down to two seconds in the timeline. And you know it's two seconds because the upper left corner of the timeline, it says two seconds, zero frames. Now to slide this layer in the timeline, you can click anywhere in this purple area and just click and drag. Notice you get the little grippy lines underneath, and as I reposition the layer, look at the info panel in the upper right corner of the interface. Notice the duration doesn't change, only the in and out points of the layer. Go ahead and let go of the mouse, and press Ctrl Z on Windows or Command Z on the Mac to undo that latest slide. Instead of sliding the layer, I want to trim the layer's in point. So let's hover over the in point, which is the left side of the layer, until the mouse turns into a double arrow icon. Then click and drag. And as you're dragging, if you hold down shift, after you start to drag, the end point will snap to the current time indicator. So go ahead and do that and make sure the layer's end point has gone to two seconds. Now, if we look at the info panel in the upper right corner, notice the duration is eight seconds and the end point is now moved to two seconds. Once again, that function is called trimming. Now, sometimes when you're working on compositions, you have to go back and change the composition settings. Let's make our composition five seconds long by selecting the composition in the project panel, clicking on it once, and then we can go to the composition menu and go to composition settings. With the comp settings open, let's go to the duration area, highlight all the numbers, and change it to say 500. Now you notice on the right side here, it says it's five seconds long. When you click OK, notice the timeline is much shorter now. It's only five seconds long. Now, as I'm looking at this logo, it's kind of hard to read on the background. So I'd like to add a color wash over top of that video layer. To do that, I'll create a layer solid. Let's go up to the menu bar, click on layer, and notice I can't choose new anything because I have the wrong panel active. See how the project panel is active? Let's click once on the timeline to make the timeline active then we can go up under the layer menu and choose new solid. When you go to your solid settings, make sure to choose make comp size and then click on the eyedropper to sample a color from the composition. I'll sample this green and then go up and name the layer solid green. 
click OK when you're done. Let's reposition this vertically in the timeline by clicking on the layer and dragging it between our logo and the background layer. Now instead of this being 100% opaque, I want to bring the opacity down a little bit. So with layer 2 selected, I'll open up the layer options by clicking on the triangle, and then I can open up the transform options. At the bottom here, I have options for opacity. Let's change that setting from 100 to 80 and press enter on your keyboard. If we collapse layer 2, I want you to note, compositions support many different kinds of layers. In this composition, we have a video layer on the bottom, which was imported into the project, a green layer solid, which we're generating from within After Effects, and an Illustrator file, which we imported into our project. 